Let's say for a second you're a customer looking to buy a new car. Let's talk about what that looks like, shall we? You start out by shopping around. You check a few websites, you send a few texts, maybe you chat with a dealer or two on social media. You answer a few questions about your driving and your history and your needs and what you're looking for and eventually you find the car that you want. And then it's off to sales and you start the process entirely over again. Same question, same back and forth. If they even have the car you were looking at on the website in stock, you have to re-explain why it fits your needs and your budget. It's exhausting. But eventually, you work out the car, you work out the price, it's off to financials, and then... You start the process a third time. Then, eventually, after you've answered all these questions a third time, you work out the financials, you get the car, you drive it home, and then a year or two later, the car needs a checkup, some routine maintenance, it happens. You bring it back to the dealer, you bring it to the garage, and then... You guessed it, fourth verse, same as the first. Now that kind of customer experience is maddening, and it can really kill your loyalty towards a given dealer and brand. Especially because, honestly, it doesn't make a lot of sense. After all, all of that data, your employment history, the cars that you're looking for, your driving habits, all of that information that you've handed over, it all lives under the same roof. And so why on earth do you have to keep answering those same questions over and over? Now we've talked a lot about this from the customer perspective, but guessing if you're a dealer, you might have some idea why that happened. It's because your sales team and your marketing team and your service team are all working independently of one another. They've got their own processes, they've got their own technologies, they've got their own means of collecting and storing data. And once that data is collected, there's no effort to standardize it, centralize it, and share it among other departments. And that can be a real problem, especially when you consider that according to a 2019 Cox Automotive Buyer Journey survey, your average car buyer is dealing with 2.3 dealerships, which means they're going to go for the one that gives them the best customer experience. Which is exactly why teams need effective tools to centralize, standardize, and share data between departments to get a clear picture of the customer at every stage of their journey and create the absolute best experience possible. This is Transformation at Work, your one-stop guide to Salesforce success. The show is brought to you by Jarrett, a summit-level Salesforce consulting and implementation partner and solutions provider, and I am Jeff Stormer, your host as always. Today, we're talking about siloed processes in the automotive industry, particularly among sales, service, and marketing teams, and how effective digital tools can bring those teams together to create a cohesive customer journey from beginning to end. Our guest this episode is Nikhil Bhatia, Jarrett's automotive practice lead. Nikhil has been in the automotive industry for 11 years in a variety of roles from production to digital strategy. He brings a deep understanding of the different processes used by various arms of automotive dealerships and how digital tools can better connect those teams to one another so they can serve the customer as effectively as possible. We begin our conversation by looking at the issue of siloed service and asking the question, why do sales, service, and marketing teams, among others, all work so independently of one another when they're often dealing with the same customer information? From the experience that I've had in the past 11 years, I think automotive industry, especially on the dealership side, is a very high performance and very demanding industry. And on a month-to-month -month basis, no matter how good a month you've had, the next month is almost equally challenging or sometimes even more. So I think in that case, the first priority for most dealers is to obviously run their departments effectively. And at the same time, what I'm seeing now after being a part of the Salesforce ecosystem is that the technology that is being used in our industry was never meant to work with different departments together. Hence, that was never on top of mind for us to have sales, service, and everything put together. And by that, what I mean is that most of the customers that I've spoken with what I mean is, you know, automotive companies, they are still struggling to calculate the customer lifetime value for their customers. And, you know, that is one of the reasons because they do not have everything put together and they do not have consolidated systems. And at the same time, they are not able to get a 360 degree view of their customers because all departments are doing their own job. They're doing it exceptionally well. But the idea is for us to bring everything together 
and create a 360 degree view for the businesses that are working towards keeping the customers happy. And it's not just process that has led to the siloing of teams in automotive dealerships. As Nikhil points out, technology, and more specifically, a lack of concrete standardized tools across teams, plays a really critical role as well. Let's throw it back to Nikhil to break down why. As I mentioned before, the car selling business is a high performance, high activity business where the daily, weekly, monthly targets are definitely extensive. And that means that everybody's working towards trying to hit their targets to create a great customer experience. But at the same time, the more I think about it, Jeff, the more I realize that it's not the fault of the OEM companies or the dealers. The only reason why we didn't achieve that future state, what we are talking about right now, the de-siloed systems, is because there was not a technology in place which could enable all the things that we are talking about right now. So when I look at automotive cloud, that tells me, yes, this is what I need to see in order to fix what I couldn't fix in the past because the technology that I was having access to in the past was inadequate. So I would like to definitely think that automotive cloud along with the solution that we are creating, including the accelerator that Gerent has recently completed. We'll talk more about this in specifics in a little bit. Stay tuned. That really puts things into perspective because whatever we have done, we have done that with the customer on top of mind. And so talk to me about what the opposite could look like, right? Like what does the customer experience look like in an environment where Teams are all connected and data is shared across the organization at every stage of the customer journey. In other words, what's the best case scenario when sales, service, and marketing, when they are fully connected and firing on all cylinders? I think the best experience would be for a customer when, if I'm the customer, I don't have to repeat anything twice. At the same time, irrespective of the department I'm talking to, I can clearly see that there is visibility of my customer information across departments. And at the same time, I think this happens often in the dealership business where the salesperson that you start interacting with often is on their weekly off or you know life happens for some reason, they are not able to be there for that particular test drive appointment, et cetera. So we are moving the business to a more process specific rather than person specific. What that means is if tomorrow my salesperson is not in the dealership, my customer profile can still be opened and be understood whatever communication has happened in the past. And when I walk in, I'm talking to a person who I've never spoken before, but that person already is aware of every detail about my profile and he or she understands my expectations. I think that'll be a great experience to have. I mean, A, that sounds amazing, right? Like that sounds like an incredible car buying experience. And hearing you talk about that, what stands out to me is that that's also the kind of experience that customers are used to from other industries. Like that is a very everyday purchase kind of experience. And to have that level of ease and comfort when you are buying a car, that's pretty astounding to me, right? Like that's a pretty big deal. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. And I think this is something that I mention in every enablement session I've had, that the most important thing that anybody needs to move from step A to B is the intent to move from A to B. And from the different business partners across the world that I've met, everybody wants to serve the customer in the best way possible. But our job as a technology company is to enable those stakeholders to be able to achieve the future state of their business, to be able to harmonize their marketing efforts, and at the same time, create strategies which complement each other rather than those siloed strategies. So talking a little bit about the how, right? So what do you see as the necessary steps for dealers to take to bring together their sales teams, their service teams, their automotive teams, and what kind of benefits can they unlock in doing this? I've been thinking about this for quite some time as to what would be the first step. And I think the first step that comes to my mind and probably the most important one is for them to realize the end value of what would the future state look like if we do everything under one umbrella as one team. Because the benefits, the outcome, the results are so important to realize at this point. And, you know, we spoke about this before, customer lifetime value. I think that's one of the biggest fruits of the labor of having everything put together as part of one brand, one dealership, 
rather than sales or service siloed. So I think if we are able to realize the true value of serving a customer as one, irrespective of the department the customer is interacting with, I think that's when we truly realize the potential of our business. And at the same time, you know, we have spoken about this before in our white papers, in our podcast, that we are moving from a product-centric industry to a customer-centric industry. And for a customer, it does not matter whether he or she is interacting with sales or service or warranty or financial services, they are interacting with the brand and they need to have a consistent experience across the different departments they are talking with. Which brings us to Automotive Cloud. Announced at Dreamforce 2022, Salesforce Automotive Cloud brings a host of key features that dealers and OEMs need to really break out of siloed data sources and create a 360 degree view of their customer. Here's Nikhil with a breakdown of a few of their key features and how they can translate for dealers into a better understanding of their customer. The capabilities of Automotive Cloud, so at a high level, it definitely is the single source of truth that a lot of companies across the automotive industry were looking for. And that is definitely the need of the R, keeping in mind that we are moving from a product-centric to a customer-centric mindset across the industry. And with respect to that, there are a few features which really stand out. And this is something that I haven't seen in most CRMs that I've worked with in the past. When we talk about automotive cloud, the first thing that comes to my mind is the power of vehicle console, driver console, household management. All of those things are very, very critical to what we are trying to do. For example, if you talk about household management, there is often times where a lot of customers buy cars from the same dealership. They have loyalty and they, you know, they have bought cars generations after generation from that particular dealer. Or now the kid is growing up, they need to buy a car. All of these customer records are very siloed on its own if it isn't for automotive cloud. But as we progress towards the solution that Automotive Cloud is creating, that is allowing us to have everything under one umbrella, under one household, to be able to create actionable insights based on what that household is looking for. And more importantly, really realize what is the customer lifetime value? What kind of value is that household providing to the dealership when it comes to sales, service, parts, etc.? So I think those are some very critical aspects which I think are going to be pivotal in us getting more and more understanding of what is happening in the automotive industry. Even after teams come to recognize the value in digitalization, they still face one considerable challenge when making it a reality. And that is that different arms of a dealership, your sales team, your marketing team, your service team, are all interacting with customers at very different points in their journey using different processes and collecting different data at each stage in the process. So the question becomes, when you have information coming from all of these different channels, how do you manage the centralization, the standardization, and the sharing of that data within your digital tool set? Let's hear what Nikhil has to say. I think your question fits in very well with the solution that Salesforce has created, which is Automotive Cloud, where we are able to provide a 360-degree view of the customer household, along with the additional people within the household who are interacting with that particular brand. And I think the most important aspect here is to really realize what the customers are looking for. I think for the customers, the most important aspect, and I'm putting my customer hat on, is a very consistent experience, You know, whether it's sales, whether it's service, whether it's marketing. And I think in order for us to serve the customers better and in order for these companies to be able to understand that The power of data is only when we have understood the whole customer journey at once, whether it's sales, service, and all throughout the customer life cycle. And when we are able to understand different aspects of the customer journey over an extended period of time, I think that's when our data is truly empowered to help us tailor solutions for each of our customers rather than a single solution for every customer that walks into a store or, you know, interacts with us digitally. Now, a related question to that is, you know, we've got this data from our customers. It's coming in from different channels. How do we make sure that that data is standardized? And how do we make sure that that data accurately reflects the customer when each team is really focused on collecting data across different questions and dealing with the customer at different points in their journey? To solve this problem, I think we would need two things. Number one, we would need a system which can successfully capture the various data points across departments throughout the customer journey. And the second thing would be visibility 
for all the stakeholders involved at various stages of the customer journey. Again, when we talk about sales, service, you know, everything comes together. And here I would like to give a very automotive specific reference where when I worked in the production of new cars, I was able to see that during the production phase, everything works in a very harmonious way as if it's almost a symphony where we go from, you know, different production routes. We are able to go from different stages of production and everything is connected. That's what comes to my mind when I look at the dealership business too. I think automotive cloud and the accelerator that we have created is the solution which is going to create that harmony where we are enabling them to capture all of that information. And at the same time, it's easy enough for the sales folks at the dealership to be able to capture that, whether it's on mobile or whether it's on their desktop. Now, speaking of that harmony, there's another key aspect that I really want to dig into because it's not enough to be collecting that data just on its own. The other really key component is, you know, stakeholder approval. So how can Salesforce Automotive Cloud help dealers and OEMs keep visibility into their processes, stay on top of everything and ensure that the data that is being collected about customers is being shared among departments and, you know, keep those silos from forming, keep those teams connected. Can Salesforce Automotive Cloud help dealers and OEMs achieve that? What are your thoughts? That's a really good question, Jeff. And that brings me to the aspect of marketing, which I think is very relevant here. And we keep talking about industry metrics where we mention the cost of acquisition of a new customer is so much higher than that it takes to retain an existing customer. And the only way to retain customers is to create tailored solutions to be able to understand what the customer is looking for and to provide them certain offers and at the same time be able to understand what their needs are. And when we are able to, in a future state, create a full 360 degree view of the customer journey from the very initial point of contact to their ongoing contacts through sales, service, marketing, warranty, everything under the sun that happens in the automotive industry, if we are able to bring a 360 degree view is when we will be able to consolidate our marketing efforts in a way that we really serve our customers well, and at the same time, do that in a cost-efficient way because we will get better success with our marketing efforts because the data that we have actually reflects what the customer has in their mind or what their household is looking for. Now, speaking of Jarrett's Automotive Cloud Accelerator, I told you we'd get back to it. Let's take a closer look at what exactly that accelerator offers and how it can help dealers and OEMs capitalize on the value offered by Salesforce Automotive Cloud and deal with the pain points related to siloed data. Here's Nikhil with more information. So the accelerator started about six months ago. That's where we got the vision of trying to create something which the industry is looking for, which can be supported by the Automotive Cloud Foundation that, is, that was being launched in October. So we've been very fortunate to work with a couple of people to create a solution which has shaved off a lot of implementation time for automotive dealers who are looking for a solution now. And at the same time, it is really helping us reduce the overall technical debt, cost of ownership for the dealership. And at the same time, the features that they are looking for, which are top of mind for them, whether it's you know customized follow-ups, whether it's testing, whether it's trying to understand households, whether it's being able to update different offers, all of that is very much part of our accelerator. Now, my final question for you, if I am a dealer and I see the value in digitalization, I see the value in bringing teams together, what do you see as the next steps for me to make that a reality, especially as I'm starting to consider bringing digital tools into the equation? This is our first year with Automotive Cloud up and running. And at the same time, Gerent is fully equipped to answer any of the questions that we have spoken about before. And we have our web automotive microsite uh, fully up and running. So anybody who's interested, in knowing more about our products, our offerings, our services, feel free to have a look at our website and just search on Google, Gerent. Buying a car, selling a car, taking a car out of the garage to get serviced. These things have a reputation and it's not always a great one. Ask your average consumer and they'll describe the process as frustrating, drawn out, difficult to manage. But the reality is it doesn't have to be that way. Dealers can offer customers the same kind of easy, convenient service that they get in other areas of life, and they can make buying a car seamless from beginning to end. It just requires getting your team on the same page 
and equipping them with the right digital tools that they need to deliver that kind of experience to customers. Do that, and you're positioned to take customer experience to an entirely new level. This has been Transformation at Work. Thank you again for listening, and thank you to Nikhil Bhatia for his incredible insights on this episode. Transformation at Work is, as always, produced by Jaren in collaboration with Salesforce. I am Jeff Stormer, your host and producer. If you enjoyed the show, consider leaving us a five-star review on iTunes or Spotify, or head to jaren.com to sign up for email updates when we release new episodes. Until next time, thank you again for listening, and we hope to see you again soon.